play host to the Washington Castles, two teams at the bottom of the standings in WTT in 2019, both trying to get back in the win column tonight. Yeah, we got an exciting match tonight. You know, two teams had a little bit of struggle so far, going two and six for the Storm and one and five for the Castles, but we'll see which one can come out better and on top today. As we get a look at tonight's order of play, we'll start with men's doubles first. Yoshi Nishioka and Bruno Suarez against Evan King and Ken Skupski for Orlando as you see the rest of the order of play. Jenny Brady, Madison Keys, that'll be a fun match of the close things out in women's singles. Yeah, a little bit of a Lake Nona battle right there. Both girls training here. Uh, I certainly know both of them really well. Um, Madison Keys playing one match earlier last week uh, for the Storm, and Jenny playing one match actually for the Las Vegas Rollers in her Just first three. World Team Tennis match. So let's take a look one, at the format for World Team Tennis. Uh, the fun style that they play here, and it's very fan friendly, of course. Each team uh, is consisted of who you see out there, of course, the head coach as well. The head coach will pick the order of play, as you just saw. And so we'll have uh, men's singles, women's singles, mixed doubles, men's doubles, and women's doubles as well. And of course, now we'll take a look at our rules. And you get the timeouts that come into play, you get subs. As Coach Scott Lipsky is standing in front of us trying to get a little insight of what we're doing over here. He hopes to see his team get a win tonight. And he's get a look at the rules for tonight's match. World Team Tennis is brought to you by Wilson. Get the best gear in the game. By Deco Turf, the official tennis court surface of World Team Tennis. And by Body Armor, the more natural and better hydration sports drink. It's Washington and it's Orlando. The Storm have dropped six straight after the 2-0 start. They'll look to get back in the win column at home and indoors when we come back. Geico has over 75 years of savings and service. Whoa. Travis and AT made it. It's amazing. Geico oh, is, is that Travis's app? It's pretty cool, isn't it? There's two of them. They're multiplying. No, 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 guys, it's me. See? No, I'm real. I'm real. He thinks he's real. <laughs> Geico. Over 75 years of savings and service. What are you doing? I'm going to be a pro tennis player. I thought you were going to get things done today. I did. I had a consultation with my doctor this morning, and I set up a meeting with my lawyer by my Wimbledon application. How could you afford a lawyer? It's included on my phone. My Rocket IO Pro 3D comes with legal services, 24-7 doctor, glasses-free 3D, and it's less than $300. You send some money. Now you can start paying rent. Wait, what? Get the Rocket IO Pro 3D for less than $300. Rocket smarter phones. How do you rock the world of tennis? Burn the rule book. Change the game. Make it faster. No, way faster. Pair up the sexes. Calling the coaches. Fist bump this badass. Playing teams. And don't forget the pros. Lots of pros. This is the next evolution of tennis. This is WTT, July 2019. Welcome back indoors to the Adidas Performance Center on the USTA National Campus in Orlando. Weather has forced us indoors today. Josh Appel, Mackie McDonald with you as we get set for our men's doubles first set. Mackie, some familiar faces, of course, on the court right now. Of course, we know Orlando very well. But you've got Bruno Suarez on the other side, and of course, Yoshi Nishioka, his doubles teammate in his first set. Yeah, happy to be back with the World Team Tennis here after a week off. But uh, yeah, we're watching the World Team Tennis. Uh, Yoshi Nishioka, mainly a tennis player, but a really crafty player, playing with the veteran Bruno Suarez. 
Obviously a really decorated doubles player there, so we should be looking at, at some good doubles coming up. Washington comes in at one and five, their eighth place. Orlando right in front of them. They have lost six straight since the 2-0 start. But those two wins came here at home. Scott Lipsky in his third season with World Team Tennis. His first, obviously, is Orlando Storm, an expansion franchise this year. Murphy Jensen on the other side, the head coach for Washington, turned pro back in 1991. This is his 11th season as a head coach of Washington, his 21st overall in WTT. And he was the head man when Washington went on that dynastic run in the early 2010s. Led the Castles to all six of their WTT titles, including five straight, including two undefeated seasons in 2011 and 2012. And that's just not a World Team Tennis record. That is a U.S. Pro Sports record, 34 consecutive matches won back in 2013. Three straight World Team Tennis Coach of the Year. First set. As we are set for the first set. Ken Skupski, Evan King. You'll notice Ken we've got Skupski a Lopez to serve for the storm. this Orlando roster anymore. Play. He was traded earlier this week. Ken Skupski will serve for Orlando. Go! Here, Hawkeye right away. Our chair umpire, Kevin Moss, tonight. Good return Last there by team. Yoshi, taking, taking control of that second serve. And Yoshi pretty much coming up on the tour together. He's 23, turned pro back in 2014. This is his rookie season in World Team Tennis. Yeah, Yoshi and I are actually the same age. We were born in 1995. Played juniors together on the ITF circuit internationally with all the Grand Slam Junior events. Uh, Obviously, I went to college, but post then, you know, I've seen him a lot on tour. Really good guy. Actually, it was my last match before I got injured. <laughs> Doris tried to spin around and return that, but it's a point for Orlando. 15, 30. Suarez has some pretty magicianal hands out here. Magicianal? You like that word? Yeah. Makes me sound smarter. And it's 30 all. It's 30 all. Winning his all time player at Michigan, a three time All American. Trains here at the USTA campus in Lake Nona. And also play in the singles set later on. Actually, right after this, against Yoshi Nishioka. A lot of lefties out here today. It's coming towards us. Got the point for Orlando, and they've thrown back. Definitely feel like that is not going to be the last ball coming our way. No, we, are under a, we are under a scaffold here indoors. And again, a big credit to our crew for setting us up and. Again, on short notice, making everything work here indoors, coming in from outside. We are right in the line of fire like we were last week. So you mentioned a lot of lefties on the court right now. Is it more difficult to return a serve from a lefty than a righty? It's less typical, but tonight it seems like we got three of them on the court. Yeah, playing against lefties definitely makes it a little bit trickier with the returns. Some of you see a little bit less. They can swing it to your backhand a lot. That's that's the typical serve that you see towards a righty. Um, but if they're going against each other, you know, it's something different. We'll see them sliding it right into the forehand. But we got Bruno Suarez here, the righty on the court to serve. The 37-year-old from Brazil. Love. Yeah, Bruno's a solid player. You're, you're going to see him making a lot of first serves. He's going to be cleaning up on his first volleys as well. He's won two ATP doubles titles this year. Sydney and Stuttgart. Go! He's had a solid year. Quarterfinals in Australian Open. Here's the 
finals in Barcelona, semifinals in Monte Carlo. Oh, double. Third one up. goes to Washington. They go up 30 loves. Second game. Pretty decent crowd tonight. Absolutely, and again, credit to the Orlando Storm faithful, braving out the weather. I know we're inside, but still a journey to get in here. Suarez, actually a former Wait, please. number one in doubles with Jamie Murray back in 2016. And of course, let serves our played. Skupski did a nice job. Nishioka couldn't return. Yeah, nice job by Skupski there getting up. I think Yoshi is probably going to be the weakest link here at the net on the court right now. Um, Evan does play a lot of doubles. He's got a pretty good ranking. Now, for Yoshi, is that just because he's more of a singles player and now playing doubles and doesn't have doubles experience? Uh, yeah, more so that. I have played with him too. Uh, we actually did win a match with the US Open, so yeah, no. Last year we uh, played together, so that was fun. But I just think he's not as eager to get the ball. You'll see that like on that last one, he backed up a lot. I mean, it's it's the eyes are something important for the doubles, and I think. We'll see from Bruno and Ken how, how good they are closing the net and taking time away. So Washington nods up the first set at one apiece. And Evan King will serve in this Evan third King game. Evan King to serve for the Orlando Storm. Top four teams in the WTT standings make the playoffs. Orlando two games out. Nice ball there by Ken. Creating some angle. How important, given this losing streak, returning back home is a, a quick and a good start for Orlando. Nice ball again. No, I feel like if they can just build some momentum, you know, that, it would at least keep them a little bit in, in the season. I mean, with this format and how fast things are and how fun they are, it's important with momentum and confidence. Hopefully they can just build on it here. Enough. Game point now for Orlando and a chance to take a 2-1 lead in the first set. Trying to hold serve. Both teams have done so. Slider wide. Called it. You're like Tony Romo in tennis. People have called me that before. <laughs> Good point there. 40, 15. Murphy Jensen, head coach for Washington, loves it. Yeah, he's a great guy, has a lot of energy. You'll see him cheering his teammates on throughout the whole time. Game start. Orlando takes the game. They go up two games to one in the first set. Pretty good tennis so far, a couple of holds. That's what we like to see in men's doubles. See if Yoshi can hold on here for the hold. Yoshi, Yoshi has, a, has a really tough serve to, to get back, actually. He puts a lot of spin on the ball. So we'll see how these returners handle it here. Didn't expect the out rally from Ken there. Yoshi yeah, the sent that one into the VIP section, I think. I think that might be out. Just wide. Oh my gosh. That was a well placed serve, but a good return there by Evan King. Bruno tried to pinch the middle there, but I don't know if Evan saw that or not, but that was pretty quick. Been some impressive points for Orlando so far in this first set. Still a little bit early, but I like how they have held pretty, pretty easy so far. Feels like the energy level is up too. I feel like they've just done a good job of not missing so much from the start. Less unforced errors here. Fantastic.
fantastic rally. Oh! And a hard-earned point you see for that, Washington. You see that angle there from Yoshi. He's able to create those, that last shot, getting a little bit away from the pan. That's pretty good tennis there. We'll mark that down as the best point so far. There you go. Oh. Yoshi tried to get there. Skupski picks up the point for his team. Good hands by Ken. You can see like how these doubles players, you know, the these veterans are able to not back up from the net. They're not scared to take a ball to the chest if, if need be, but so Yoshi to serve. Game storm. In the first, back like Nona after this. Paula, owner of Family Run, local choice spirits, and Stripe Pig Distillery in North Charleston. Local is the new global, and we're proof of that. With almost 50 international awards earned from blind taste competitions for our proprietary, all-natural, and gluten-free libations. Come be part of our family. With something exceptional for everyone, local choice spirits. What's in your spirit? Give me a racket and watch me go. Because I won't come back the same. Sometimes I'll come back with scratches and scrapes. Or with stories of great shots and close shaves. Of wins for the history books. And of losses I'll never forget. But watch me smile. Say good game. And put my racket away for now, but not for good. Because I'll have seen what I can do. And I know greatness. Welcome back to the Adidas Performance Center inside the USTA National Campus. Josh Appel, Mackie McDonald with you. A three games to one lead in men's doubles to start for Orlando over Washington. And Mackie, a great start for Skupski and King. Yeah, they're looking really good so far. Gotten that break in the last game. I think a little bit of an unlucky oh. call at the end there. Coach Murphy was not happy with that ball landing. I think he was expecting the ref to make a move there, but... Uh, no, the Storm are looking strong. I mean, up 30 love here. Looking to get another hold. Oh, an excellent shot from Evan King. Yeah, those are some really good volleys by the Storm there. Able to keep, keep at the net, putting some deep volleys in play and getting the overhead and putting that one away. Storm in good shape here. They're looking pretty strong. No early unforced errors. They're looking good to take this first set here. And as we pointed out in the last home match, Mackie, against San Diego, it's not that Orlando played poorly in that match, that San Diego just played well. And so I don't think the, the brand of tennis that Orlando's been playing has necessarily been bad. It's just they haven't caught the breaks. And so far, keep this up. I might cruise to a victory tonight. Go! And of course, it's not the amount of sets you win. It's about the total number of games. And right now, Orlando up 4-1 in that category. Excellent shot again. Skupski with a fist pump down the line for the point. Did not see that coming, but he went after it pretty, pretty hard. Yeah, 15. Evan King's pumped up about it. Oh, 
15. Good volley put away there by Nishioka. A little set up by Bruno Suarez with the first serve. Fifteen thirty, and if Orlando's going to take this set and get to five first. Thirty all. Thirty all. Nishioka makes it, but a couple of let serves both played in this set. Something different about World Team Tennis, but that's what you saw at the beginning. Format and the rule. But again, Orlando a chance here at thirty all. A chance to break set again and take this set five games to one. Every game counts. That's an ace for Suarez. Make it 40 30. Good move there by Ken. Bruno definitely made the first serve there, setting up the point. A little unlucky again, another leg court. We're looking at another deuce point and a set point for their Orlando Storm right now. Suarez still serving. Long, King loves it, the Storm love it. They take the first set, five games to one. Men's singles coming up next. It'll be Nishioka and Evan King coming up after this from Orlando. I can't believe it. The car brought his karaoke machine? Nothing but a hard day. No, I, I can't believe how easy it was to save hundreds of dollars on my car insurance with Geico. Tell me why I never to say. Go, Kevin. Go, Kevin. No, no. no. Believe it. Geico could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Welcome back to Lake Nona. Josh Appel, Mackie McDonald with you. About to get started with the second set in men's singles. A dominant first set in men's doubles for Orlando. They win it five games to one. And Mackie, what did you take away from that performance? Now we'll see Evan King look to keep up that nice run of play against Nishioka. Yeah, we could really be seeing a turnaround from the Orlando Storm. That was a lot of energy coming from King and Skupski. That last point, really impressive. Evan King slapping the forehand, getting the air, and taking the first set. We saw that from Ken too earlier in that game, and honestly, this, this Orlando Storm team is really looking strong. Really, no unforced errors, and uh, going into this singles match, it's gonna definitely think we're gonna be seeing some long points. Yoshi definitely knows how to grind. He's a he's a fast player. He's a good runner. Evan King makes a lot of balls too, so we'll see some good points here seconds. in this next singles set. Time. So Bruno Suarez was taking warm-ups before this set, but Ishioka has the racket, and yes, he will be the singles competitor. 
Yeah, the warm-ups are actually really interesting in World Team Tennis. For the players, it is kind of difficult sometimes to get up after sitting down and, and getting ready to play. I think Yoshi was already warmed up there, but they only give you a couple minutes to, to really get warmed up. So I think one of the one of the women wanted a couple more minutes to uh, get on the court and get a sweat going. But uh, Yoshioka warm here, getting ready to serve and start this men's single set. Yoshi Nishioka to serve for the Washington Castles. Nishioka will serve to get us started. Fifteen love. Fifteen love. What makes Nishioka difficult to play against in singles competition? Yeah, I'd say Yoshi's just one of the fastest players on tour, actually. I mean, he lives off his speed. Doesn't have the height for the serve, but I mean, this guy will run love. you. The whole day, I know from experience, losing to him in five sets at the French Open earlier. But uh, no, he moves the ball around really well. He hits a lot of angles. I think the lefty serve helps, helps a little bit with his pace. So when you say Nishioka likes to utilize his speed and he's one of the fastest on tour, you're talking about his movement on the court, not necessarily the pace on the balls that he hits. Yeah, no, his foot speed. I mean, we'll see him tonight even. He'll get to some drop shots you, you're not going to think he's going to get to. Good shot there by Yoshi. Yeah, he's a tricky player. I mean, he also, with that spinny forehand, he gets it high on people's backhands and, and forehands like we just saw there, and then can take time away. Thirty and King staying alive. Nishioka trying to hold serve. The 23-year-old made it to the second round of the Australian Open three straight years. Made it to the second round at Roland Garros this year as well. And the U.S. Open in 2015 as a qualifier. And the game goes to Washington. Murphy Jensen fired up. So 1-0 in this second set, but five games to two overall. Still plenty of breathing room for Evan King and Orlando, and now King will serve. Excellent down the line from Nishioka. Oh. Hawkeye says that one's out, it's 15 all.
Yoshi almost got into that ball there. Evan King just trying to open up the court a little bit, utilize the serve and, and hold on here. Still early in this set. But the crowd is getting behind the storm and it's brewing. I'm gonna call you out for using the term Bruin because I think that you just wanted to get a cheap plug for UCLA in there. Go Bruins, go Billy Martin. We'll see uh, one of Mackey's fellow UCLA Bruins later on tonight, Jenny Brady. She's playing for Washington tonight. And the game goes to Evan King. He holds serve as well. One game apiece in the second set. Evan King's looked really sharp tonight. You know, this is the first time we've seen him play the singles. We didn't get to see him in action when Feliciano Lopez was on the team. But uh, yeah, so far he's been holding his own, serving well and uh, moving really well. Doesn't look nervous at all. Yeah, the Castle's already down six games to two. As we know, each game does count. They definitely want to put some more numbers on that board. Down the line, King sneaks that one in. How's that drop shot from Nishioka, but King gets to it, and then Nishioka fires it past for the point. That's some good wheels there by Evan. You can see he also didn't really want to slide on this court. This court is really gritty, this indoor one, serving for longer points with this fast-paced format. Unreal point there by Nishioka and Evan King. Nishioka really knowing where that last ball was going to go and puts it away. And the game goes to Washington. They now lead two games to one in the second set men's singles, but it's still six to three in the overall score. Well, now Evan King will have a chance to serve again. Double fault there by Evan. Not a good way you want to start this game with the no ad format. It's happened a few times tonight for Nishioka. That's 15 all.
Nishioka had King going the opposite way, but he couldn't find, find it inside the line. It goes too long. from King, and it's the game point. A chance to knot it up at two games apiece here in the second set, men's singles. First set, men's doubles went 5-1 to Orlando. Game to the storm, two games apiece, seven to three overall. Fifth game of the second set, men's singles between Evan King and Nishioka coming up next. Back to Lake Nona after this. Shioka and King tied two games apiece. Shioka too long. Love 15 in favor of Evan King. Josh Appel, Mackie McDonald with you. Very competitive second set in the men's singles. Pretty long point there. I feel like that's something we're going to keep seeing in this set. Both these guys, a couple of grinders, some lefty grinders. Evan King going up early in this game. Love 30. He's looked really, really good tonight. Showing up in the, in the doubles. Getting the storm off to a good start tonight. Thank you. 
like I said, Josh, a lot of long points with these two. They're both breathing heavy. You can see Evan right in front of me. Just looks like Evan's getting a little bit on top on these on these points right now. He's looked really sharp, kind of doing it for his home crowd. And the crowd here in Orlando loves it. And the Geico timeout first of the night called. Murphy Jensen over to talk with the Yoshi Nishioka. Has Scott Lipsky over here talking with Evan King by us. We. There have been two impressive rallies with these two on the court. We saw a, a very impressive one in the first set, men's doubles, and now that one there for both these guys is very well played. Yeah, I know these points are long and grueling. I mean, good guy go timeout there called by the Hassels. I mean, really well needed. Getting down, love 40 in this game. Definitely need that breather. I was tired just watching it. A break for the storm. Really impressive tennis by Evan King there. Just not giving in on any point. Now they're up 8-3 in the overall score. This is the kind of match that Orlando really needed at this point in the season. Having lost six straight after a 2-0 start. Returning back home after a long road trip. And they have come to play tonight. And you look at Washington. It's a long trip for them. But everybody has to deal with the same travel. This is a really important game for the Storm. I mean, this is their chance to get up ahead here. And the thing is, after a break, you know, it's easy to let your guard down a little bit. We saw Evan King with one error there. Yoshi looks a little bit less tense. We'll see if Evan can hold on here. Second serve. but King couldn't get it over. I mean, these two are just having a fun match, and it just seems like they're so evenly matched. I think, I think the crowd's loving it so far. I would have liked to see Evan put away that first overhead. Yoshi's going to get to that next ball. He always does, and gets it over his head. Too good. Just for the allure of a between-the-leg shot with your back towards the net, I wanted it to be successful for King, but the effort was great regardless. Excellent shot. And it's Love 40, a chance for Nishioka to break serve. Just like that, looks like this set could come back to even. Evan's going to have to really dig deep if he wants to get four points in a row. He's breathing heavy. Nishioka's breathing heavy. These guys are grinding it out. Out of Washington takes the game, Nishioka nods it up at three games all and makes it eight to four overall. And you talked about it, it's a, I feel like it's a big difference between going up nine three and being up eight to four. Yeah, that was a little bit unfortunate for the storm there. They really could have pulled ahead, but for their fans sake, this match is getting closer. I think a smart Geico timeout by Scott Lipsky here, conversing with Evan King. Slowing the pace down a little bit, trying to grab some energy back and let him know that he still is a break and a hold away. So a crucial game in this match. 
And in this set, tied at three. Orlando trying to hang on to the lead before the third set. This could be tiebreaker territory. Good break for King, and he recovers from the point, and he fires up the crowd as well. That was great there. A lot of energy from King. A little unlucky by Nishioka. We saw that actually in the doubles match, too, when he got broken, having a leg court just bounce on the line. That leg court forcing him to lose that point. But he backs it up with an ace. 15 all. That's way too good by Nishioka. Good play there for him, going high to the ag court. Waiting for a short ball and taking that backhand early off the court. hit the ceiling and landed out of 30 all. 30 all. Shioka's tried that drop shot a few times tonight and it's been unsuccessful. And the awesome thing about world team tennis is you get emotion like Evan King just showed to get this crowd fired up. They're waving those rally towels around. Mackey has his, he's waving his around. No, it's a fun time out here. We're looking at another Geico timeout. I mean, we've seen three already in the set. I think this is our third one. These guys are playing some long points. Evan King sipping some water. Nishioka went to his knees. He's tired. We're still a good long points. I mean, these guys are really working for it. Working for the second. Game point after another ace from Nishioka. Evan King definitely wanted the deuce side after that ace. We'll see who can get up in the score 4 3 here. Storm or Castles? And the Castles take the game, and now Nishioka has come back to take a four games to three lead. And now that overall lead for Orlando is trimmed down to three. So it really gets tough here for Evan King. He certainly wants to force the tiebreak in this set. These are the seventh and eighth place teams in world team tennis, but anything can happen at any given day. They're not out of it yet. Top four teams make the playoffs. Orlando just two matches out of that final playoff spot. Nishioka just makes it look effortless sometimes. A little bit. I mean, Evan King going for the serve and volley, trying to get a free point. Doesn't really want to play that long 30 ball rally that they really had. Oh. 
15 all. Good point again there. Nishioka looked like he had an opportunity, just misses that ball wide. Too good of a return there by Nishioka. Evan King not too happy with that one. Getting close to the mic. Evan King notifying me that Yoshi got him tired. Me too with the French, Evan. It's tiring just watching him try and cover all this ground. That's the unique thing about world team tennis. You're right on top of the action, you can interact with the players like we just did. Excellent point from King, and that gets a fist bump and a clap from the crowd as well. Let's see if Evan can really dig go. deep here. He is tired, but also is Yoshi here. I mean, if he can, if he can get out the service game and bring it to a tiebreaker, that just helps the, the storm just stay close in this uh, in this overall score. <laughs> Good serve there by Evan, getting two game points here now. Tough ball there for Evan. How to look at a forehand. Kind of shanked it and Yoshi took advantage. Now we're at a deuce point, set point, game point, break point. Let's see what happens. You know, when Evan came over here and he informed you of his uh, current condition physically, I wish you would have gone Adam Schefter or Adrian Wojnarowski and said that sources close to the situation have informed you that he's not, he's feeling a little tired. Huge for Orlando. Four games and it's four games all going to the tie break. And Ishioka is saying that that last one was out. Hawkeye didn't catch it though. Yeah, Yoshi really not happy with the last two calls. He's getting down, checking the mark. You know, honestly, some of these some of these calls have been a little bit iffy. I wouldn't be surprised if that ball was out. We'll see if the ref makes an overrule here, but. The Hawkeye did show it in, I think the ref is saying. Either way, we're headed to a tiebreaker. Evan King showing a little bit more positive energy here than uh, Yoshi. Bobbing his head to the We Will Rock You song. Listen, if that song doesn't get you bobbing your head, then I don't know Let's what to do. 9-5 the overall score. And the second set tie break. First to five. Washington leads 1-0 in the tie break. And again, uh, just back and forth before an excellent shot from one of these two great competitors.
2-0 Washington. And worst case scenario here for Orlando is they go down, or they go up rather, 9-6, the lead goes to three, but of course you'd rather be up by five heading into the mixed doubles third set. Two youngsters here, Nishioka 23, King 27. Three zero. And Scott Lipsky pops off the bench. He's going to call a Geico timeout. Yeah, it's a little mini break in this tiebreaker for the Castles. Going up three zero. This tiebreaker is definitely a little bit different format than what we normally see on the tennis court. This is an old school five point tiebreaker with two points from the first server, two points from the second server. Two points again from the first server, and then three points from the next server. So Castle's in good lead here, up 3-0. Evan King trying to catch a little breather on that Geico timeout with Scott Lipsky. Let's see if he can get into this tiebreaker. speed you were talking about earlier, Nishioka getting to that shot. I'm telling you, man, this guy gets every ball back. Evan had to work for that point, hitting a couple overheads, but he gets on the board. Well, Nishioka has been making him work for every point he's gotten so far as Nishioka and King will switch sides. Got a nice pep talk from their coaches and their teammates. Down 3-1 on the tie break, Evan King. What's his mindset got to be right now? He's shown some really good energy. That's one massive positive. You know, that's going to keep the crowd going bringing energy into the next mixed doubles match, I believe. I'd like to see him try to maybe get it high to the Nishioka backhand. I think that might be his best bet. Too good there by Nishioka. Cleans up the volley after a pretty solid approach shot. Four one now in the tie break. And the game in the second set goes to Washington Nishioka and Evan King play an excellent second set. It goes to a tie break. And Ishioka takes it five games to one. Mixed doubles coming up next in the third set. 9-6 Orlando with lead over Washington. Back after this. I want it. I can't believe it. That cop brought his karaoke machine. Nothing but a party. No, I can't believe how easy it was to save hundreds of dollars on my car insurance with Geico. Love you, wife. Go, Kevin. Go, Kevin. No, no. Believe it, Geico could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Hi, I'm Pixie Paula, owner of Family Run, local choice spirits, and Stripe Pig Distillery in North Charleston. Local is the new global, and we're proof of that. With almost 50 international awards earned from blind taste competitions for our proprietary, all-natural, and gluten-free libations. Come be part of our family. With something exceptional for everyone, local choice spirits. What's in your spirit? Give me a racket and watch me go. Because I won't come back the same. Sometimes I'll come back with scratches and scrapes. Or with stories of great shots and close shaves. Of wins for the history books. And of losses I'll never forget. But watch me smile. Say good game. And put my racket away for now, but not for good. Because I'll have seen what I can do. And I know greatness, greatness. greatness is waiting. Sign up with Net Generation, official youth tennis of the USTA.
How do you rock the world of tennis? Burn the rule book. Change the game. Make it faster. No, way faster. Pair up the sexes. Call in the coaches. Fist bump this badass. Playing teams. And don't forget the pros. Lots of pros. This is the Castles. This is WTT, July 2019. Welcome back indoors, the Adidas Performance Center at Lake Nona, the USTA National Campus. Josh Appel and Mackie McDonald with you. Washington and Orlando, both teams trying to get back in the win column. We are set for mixed doubles. Madison Keys, Ken Skupski, and Bruno Suarez, and Kaveta Peshka for Washington. Nine games to six, Orlando leads. Skupski too long. Keys and Skupski, that's a nice combo and one of the first times they've seen that this season for Orlando. Yeah, we're, we're in for some good mixed doubles here. Got a lot of strong players on the court. We'll see how well Bruno and Ken can come back after sitting out for that last set, get re-warmed up again. We definitely saw some exciting points in that first doubles, men's doubles match. Good serve and first ball by Ken Skupski there, cleaning up the return. Thirty all. Thirty all. And Orlando could certainly use a convincing victory in this set. Give themselves some more breathing room heading into the final two sets. We'll have halftime coming up after this third set concludes. 40, 30. Quick hands there by the Washington Castles. Matty Keys not ready for that let court. We've seen a couple of those tonight. That net in favor of actually both sides. It's been a little bit unpredictable. I wasn't paying attention, and it's a good thing because that one just came right for us. Your reflexes are on point, though. That's good to see. Yeah, I just dove over to my left there. Almost got hit. Can't move too much with this hamstring, though. Again, though, it's good to see the reflexes haven't gone since you've been out. It's, a nice, it's nice to see. Getting your broadcasting chops in, but still along the way able to work on some things beneficial to your game. I legitimately didn't even see that shot. It whistled right by. I didn't even apologize there. I'll talk to him about that later. <laughs> well, I think um, on a point just before that, it went to the opposite corner, and I'm pretty sure I heard him shout sorry. I don't think we got that same courtesy. Yeah, we definitely got some bad blood going. <laughs> Unreal hands by Ken there. Love to see that volley get back by him. Pesky was on top of the net. And the crowd is fired up. Sound carries in here too, when we were indoors. Yeah. 
Love 40, chance to break serve. And the storm break serve and take it two games to love lead in this third set, 11 games to six overall. Storm is definitely looking pretty solid out here. A lot of energy. I think the home court advantage is helping them. The castles on the other hand, looking a little flat on the bench. The team chemistry a little bit off right now. I don't see Suarez and Pesci talking too much. I'd like to see them do that a little bit more if, uh, if they want to swing the momentum back. About 15. Peshka, Czech Republic, but resides in nearby Sarasota. This is her seventh world team tennis season. Spent time with Kansas City, Philadelphia, and New York and San Diego. She's another former number one in WTA doubles back in 2011 and won her first Grand Slam title in doubles at 2011 at Wimbledon. She's been a finalist, doubles finalist at the 2011 French Open, three-time finalist in mixed doubles at the U.S. Open in 06, 2010, 2012, when she's also competed in the Olympics for the Czech Republic back in 2000. Big swing here now. Got four break points for the Castles to get back on serve here. Maddie Keys definitely has a big serve. Let's see if she can bring it back for the storm. And Bruno denies that pretty fast there with that backhand down line winner storm off the return. Storm still up 2 1 though. Castles to serve. Still 11-7, though, in favor of Orlando. Peshke will serve. Turned pro back in 1993. Suarez. And there's a combined four Grand Slams. Excuse me. Make that. Hold on. Let's check my math for a second. There's a combined six Grand Slam doubles titles on this side of the court for Washington. And you can see why. Yeah, you can definitely see it there. This team's played... So far this season, a few matches, but overall in their careers, they've had a lot of experience. Bruno being 37 years old, Peschke 44. A couple of game points here to notch it up at two games apiece. See Maddie here cracking this return back. And Washington makes it two games all in the third set. We will step aside, come back with game number five in the third set, mixed doubles after this from Lake Nona.
How do you rock the world of tennis? Burn the rule book. Change the game. Make it faster. No, way faster. Pair up the sexes. Call in the coaches. Fist bump this badass. Playing teams. Don't forget the pros. Lots of pros. This is the next evolution of tennis. This is WTT, July 2019. Welcome back to Lake Nona. Storm up three games, 11 to 8. 2-2 two, two here in the third set, mixed doubles. Josh Appel, Mackie McDonald with you. Ken Skupski to serve for Orlando. Solid start to this game for the Storm. Ken going for the ace. Gets a little overhead. Ken on fire here, like we saw him in the men's doubles action. Winning that set 5-1 with Evan King. Huge game for the Storm. They pick up the 3-2 advantage in the third set and the four game lead overall. Five one in the first set to Orlando. Five four in the tiebreak to Washington in the second set, and it's three two Orlando here in the third set. Miss hit there by Madison Keys. Who's coming back from that ankle injury? You can see it taped up that right ankle. Yeah, we see we saw her slip a little bit the other night in her first World Team Tennis match of the season. This court, like I said earlier, is very gritty. Don't want to try to slide too much on it. Bruno's definitely been a little bit shaky with his serve tonight. Throwing a couple double faults. Having some aces too. Not really too sure what to expect from him on the serve, but Castles really need this hold here. Wow, unreal hands by Ken Skubsky stealing that point from the Castles. Now we got three break points for the Storm to go up four games to two and serve for the third set tonight. Smart move there by Peschke, closing the net. I think Maddie should have gone line on that backhand. Instead, she kind of left an opening in the court. No one unable to retrieve that last ball. Castle still in this game. Storm still having two break points left. Good hands by Bruno. Strong serve. A little touch volley there. Still break point. Now game point for the Washington Castles at all. No ad scoring here. World Team Tennis format style. And 
the game to Washington, but Scott Lipsky is questioning Hawkeye after that. Good game there, a little bit unfortunate for the Storm. Definitely had some looks at a break. A little close call on that last one, but looks like Ken and Maddie both are signaling it was in. So we are tied at three games apiece here in the third set tonight of mixed doubles action. Unreal return there by Pesky. Gets it past Ken. Weird time for a guy who came out by Scott. Maybe just trying to stop the bleeding here. They have lost four points in a row. So early in this game, though. Scott trying to slow down the pace a little bit, figure out the game plan between Maddie and Ken, signaling where to serve. Where Ken is going to move here. Crucial game if they want to stay on top and in the lead after this third set. Yeah. 15 all after that from Skupski. Orlando hasn't let the lead slip to anything less than three so far. This is a big game for Washington. Can they cut it to two? Yeah. Point for Orlando to make it 30 to 15. Forty fifteen, and now a game point. Orlando is back at it on Friday against the Springfield Lasers. We'll be on the air at 7 o'clock on ESPN Plus and WTT.com. And an excellent shot and point from Skupski, and Orlando takes the game. And they go up 13-9. Set point upcoming here. Washington travels back home. Philadelphia Freedoms will be who they host. Venus Williams will be playing tomorrow for Washington. But again, tomorrow, Springfield in town to take on Orlando. Excuse me, Friday. Storm, the Storm will take that double fault there. By Pesky going up 15 love in this first. Point for Orlando. 15-30. Peschke serving. Great hands there by Bruno Suarez. Matty Keys firing a forehand on the last point. A couple shots right at Bruno in that point, but he was ready for it.
40-30. Now game point for Washington, which would force our second straight tie break. Too easy for Suarez, and the game goes to Cast the Washington Castles, and it's four games all heading into the tiebreak here in the third set. Yeah, this mixed doubles match has been really close. I thought Maddie there in that last game, you know, had one look at, at getting a ball back. Got the got the crowd kind of storming the court right here. As we go into this tiebreaker. Let's see if the Storm can stay on top, go up by a four-game lead in the overall score, or if the Washington Castles can get their second set win of the night in this third mixed double set. Good kick served by Ken, going wide to the forehand. That's a serve you don't see as often. Pesky not ready for that one. Getting a little bit outside of reach there. Ken now serving to Bruno. Two zero to the storm, and again, a big swing here because Washington a chance to make it a two game uh, deficit. Orlando trying to extend its lead back to four. Another unlucky let cord on that point for the Castles. We've seen that net do some, do all the works tonight. Three, and a screaming winner return by Ken Skupski going up three zero. Castle's in good form here. Three one. And the Castles get on the board with their first point in this tiebreaker. 3-1 Storm, now serving. After this quick changeover. Crowd trying to get the Storm going here. Again, this is such a big game, big match for both sides. Orlando, since their 2-0 start, has dropped six straight. Washington trying to get some momentum going in their season at 1-5. and five. That point. Bruno taking a little skin there, trying to go for the cross. The ball from Madison Keys' forehand doesn't quite get as cross court as he thought, and he takes it in the left leg. For two, Washington hanging around. It 
got women's doubles and women's singles to follow this. Scott Lipsky changing up the order of play from the first three home matches. Excellent from Suarez. And it's 4-3 just like that. Crowd trying to get behind Skupski and Keys and this mixed doubles. Orlando trying to return the favor and win the tie break. Four all, Four all just like Game that. Point. Game point, set point. And Orlando and Scott Lipsky taking a Geico timeout. Three straight points here in the tie break for Washington. Yeah, a big twist here, did not see this coming. The Storm's still having the serving advantage here. They can't, I'm sorry, the Castles having the ser serving advantage here. Looking to close this out. The power from Madison Keys earns the set and the tiebreak win for Orlando. Five games to four in the third set. And a 14-10 overall lead. It's halftime here tonight. Washington and Orlando heading into the fourth set. Women's doubles coming up next here from Lake Nona. I want it. I can't believe it. The car brought his karaoke machine. No, I can't believe how easy it was to save hundreds of dollars on my car insurance with Geico. Go, no, Kevin. Go, no, Kevin. No. no. Uh, Believe it. Geico could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Hi, I'm Pixie Paula, owner of Family Run, Local Choice Spirits, and Stripe Pig Distillery in North Charleston. Local is the new global, and we're proof of that. With almost 50 international awards earned from blind taste competitions for our proprietary, all-natural, and gluten-free libations. Come be part of our family. With something exceptional for everyone, Local Choice Spirits. What's in your spirit? What are you doing? I'm going to be a pro tennis player. I thought you were going to get things done today. I did. I had a consultation with my doctor this morning, and I set up a meeting with my lawyer by my Wimbledon application. How could you afford a lawyer? It's included on my phone. My Rocket IO Pro 3D comes with legal services, 24-7 doctor, glasses-free 3D, and it's less than $300. You saved me some money. Now you can start paying rent. Wait, what? Get the Rocket IO Pro 3D for less than $300. Rocket, smarter phone. Give me a racket and watch me go. Because I won't come back the same. Sometimes I'll come back with scratches and scrapes. Or with stories of great shots and close shaves. Of wins for the history books. And of losses I'll never forget. But watch me smile. Say good game. And put my racket away for now, but not for good. Because I'll have seen what I can do. And I know greatness, greatness. greatness is waiting. Sign up with Net Generation, official youth tennis of the USTA. How do you rock the world of tennis? Burn the rule book. Change the game. Make it faster. No, way faster. Pair up the sexes. Call in the coaches. Fist bump this badass. Playing teams. And don't forget the pros. Lots of pros. This is the next evolution of tennis. This is WTT, July 2019. Welcome back to Lake Nona, the USTA National Campus. Josh Appel, Mackie McDonald with you. Washington and Orlando, it's the storm with a 14-10 lead before our final two sets. And Mackie, some very entertaining tennis through the first three sets. 
Yeah, these first three sets have been pretty exciting. We've seen some good doubles action, some long, intense points on the men's singles, and some really close tiebreaker there in that last mixed doubles. It'll be Peshke and Brady against Keys and Yurek, followed by the women's singles, fifth set, Jenny Brady against Madison Keys. We'll be back right after this with more from Lake Nona. Geico has over 75 years of savings and service. Whoa. Travis and IT made it. It's amazing. Geico oh, is, is that Travis's app? It's pretty cool, service. isn't it? There's two of them. They're multiplying. Geico has over no, 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 guys, it's me. See? No, I'm real. I'm real. Who thinks he's real? <laughs> Geico. Over 75 years of savings and service. How do you rock the world of tennis? Burn the rule book. Change the game. Make it faster. No, way faster. Pair up the sexes. Call in the coaches. Fist bump this badass. Playing teams. And don't forget the pros. Lots of pros. This is the Castles. This is WTT, July 2019. Brian Fenley talking right now on the court with Madison Keys. Let's send it down to them. We want others to get involved. How can they do so with Fearless League Girl? We'll step aside, be back after this here from Lake Nona. Thanks to Brian and Madison, back after this. owner of Family Run, Local Choice Spirits, and Stripe Pig Distillery in North Charleston. Local is the new global, and we're proof of that. With almost 50 international awards earned from blind taste competitions for our proprietary, all-natural, and gluten-free libations. Come be part of our family. With something exceptional for everyone, Local Choice Spirits. What's in your spirit? Castles get it done. San Diego Aviators have won it. There it is. Orange County Breakers are the World Team Tennis Champion. What an amazing effort by an amazing team. Where every point counts. I won it. I can't believe it. The car brought his karaoke machine. No, I can't believe how easy it was to save hundreds of dollars on my car insurance with Geico. Go, Kevin! Go, Kevin! No, no. Believe it, Geico could save you 15% or more on car insurance. What are you doing? I'm gonna be a pro tennis player. I thought you were going to get things done today. I did. I had a consultation with my doctor this morning, and I set up a meeting with my lawyer about my Wimbledon application. How could you afford a lawyer? It's included on my phone. My Rocket IO Pro 3D comes with legal services, 24-7 doctor, glasses-free 3D, and it's less than $300. 
You saved him some money. Now you can start paying rent. Wait, what? Get the Rocket IO Pro 3D for less than $300. Rocket, smarter phone. World Team Tennis is brought to you by USTA, the United States Tennis Association. Music provided by Free Play Music, the best music library on the planet. Welcome back to Lake Nona, the USTA National Campus. Josh Rappel and Mackie McDonald with you. Washington Castles, Orlando Storm. It's the Storm who, if they can hang on to this 14-10 lead, and the women's doubles and women's singles will snap a six-match losing streak, and Mackey will see Madison Keys and Daria Yurik take on Peshke and Jenny Brady. Should be a good matchup here in this fourth set. Yeah, we've been blessed with some good tennis so far. This doubles match, we're going to see two of Lake Nona's very own best players, Jenny Brady and Madison Keys, and two veteran women's doubles players, Pesky and Jurak going after it. The Orlando Storm up by four games right now on the, on the total. Murphy Jensen trying to turn this season around. David McPherson, you might know that name, longtime coach of doubles greats Bob and Mike Bryan, current coach of John Isner. He's also coach Roger Federer and Stan Warwinka. In the Davis Cup, he coached the first week of the season for Washington, and now Murphy Jensen takes over for the latter half. Jenny Brady serves. Now, Mackie, you know Jenny Brady well. What kind of game does she bring to the table? Yeah, Jenny Brady, a fellow Bruin of mine, same year and class at UCLA, going in at 2013, both of us non-graduates at the moment and on the Pro Tour. Game style-wise, we're going to see some good serves. Enough. Jenny Brady likes her forehand, favors that shot the most. Hits a spinnier ball than most girls and able to get it high. And uh, we'll see her She's strung on the doubles field as well. In this women's doubles match, we'll see her come to the net some a fair amount and putting away some volleys. <laughs> Look out on the stands over there. Any chance you get to drop a UCLA reference and you're taking advantage of it. I mean, that's all right. You're allowed to be proud of where you played college tennis. Although, can you claim to be a Bruin if you never graduated? Still considered an alumni, actually. Don't have to graduate. It's in the definition. I looked it up. Unreal hands there from all women on the court. Peshki able to get that one past Matty Keys and handle it. Jenny Brady also having the same major as me and Polly Sai. Another Bruin reference there. I am actually currently doing a few classes. Keep me busy during my injury. So that's the only reason not to get education. We're just stay busy. <laughs> and Washington takes the first game of this fourth set, 14-11. And now, Mackey, we have another situation where Washington has cut the deficit to three, but they haven't been able to get it less than that to this point. So far, Orlando's been able to respond. 
Yeah, we got Madison Keys here serving. I mean, she's got a really massive serve. We've seen that before and on the Pro Tour at the Grand Slam level. This set's definitely going to be interesting. A little bit different mix of players. One veteran, doubles player, one singles player on each team. As we mentioned, Peschke, a former Wimbledon doubles champion back in 2011. She's made her mark in plenty of Grand Slams. Three-time finalist at the U.S. Open. Finalist at 2011 French Open and a former number one in WTA doubles in that same year. Thirty all after that from Peschke. Pretty good return there by Peschke. I did not expect that. Madison Keys placing that serve well, but Peschke able to place that ball by just getting your racket on it for a return winner. Thirty forty. Chance to break point for Washington. And if they do, they'll take a two games to none lead in this set. And the game goes to Washington, and they take a two games to love advantage in this fourth set. And finally, for the first time, smallest deficit of the day for Washington, now down by just two. Really got to buckle down here if you're Yurik and Keys for Orlando. Peschke will serve for Washington. Former Olympian. It is way too quiet in here. Come on, Storm fans. Show our team the support they deserve. Dominant so far from Brady and Peschke. and just no answers, Orlando. Let's get loud for our team. We got to help them out here.
40-15. Orlando staying alive here. 40-15 in this game. Two games to none in the fourth set. And the game goes to Washington, and just like that, it's 14-13 overall. Yeah, this match is definitely turned around here. We got a little Geico timeout. Scott Lipsky trying to get Jurak and Keys a little bit more energy here, figuring out the game plan, trying to build some momentum. Murphy pretty pleased at the moment. Coach Murphy with the Washington Castles. Let's see what the Storm can come up with in this next game here. Fourth game of this fourth set, Storm to serve. It almost feels like a must win game in this set for Orlando, down three games to none and clinging to that one game advantage. Good close and put away there by Matty Keys going after Jenny Brady a little bit there. Storm still trying to get their first game on the board in this set. Nice volley again by Madison. Keys cleaning up off the Jurok serve. Setting up four game points here. Excellent shot from Peschke after that rally. Still a game point for Orlando. Daria Yurik serving for the game. Peschke back to back points for Washington, 40-30. And the game goes to Orlando. They make it three games to one in this set. 15-13 overall. We will step aside and be back after this with more from Lake Nona. How do you rock the world of tennis? Burn the rule book. Change the game. Make it faster. No, way faster. Pair up the sexes. Call in the coaches. Fist bump this badass. Playing teams. Don't forget the pros. Lots of pros. This is the storm. This is WTT, July 2019. Give me a racket and watch me go. Because I won't come back the same. Sometimes I'll come back with scratches and scrapes. Or with stories of great shots and close shaves. Of wins for the history books. And of losses I'll never forget. But watch me smile. Say good game. And put my racket away for now, but not for good. Because I'll have seen what I can do. And I know greatness, greatness. greatness is waiting. Sign up with Net Generation, official youth tennis of the USTA.
Welcome back to Lake Nona. 15-13 Orlando leads Washington. The teams have switched ends. Yurik and Keys, Brady and Peschke. Three games to one. Brady and Peschke with the advantage here. Josh Appel, Mac and McDonald. One more set after this. Jenny Brady, Madison Keys, women's singles. That will close out the night. And it looks like, as of right now, we are going to have pretty much a deciding set in the fifth. Nice return and volley by Jurok there. I think I have high hopes for my fellow Bruin, Jenny Brady, holding this game, bringing the score a little bit closer for the Castles. Thirty-fifteen. Keys, as you can see, still battling that right ankle injury. She seems to be moving around okay, but she originally tweaked it in that match against San Diego. Thirty all after that. Jenny Brady barely missing that forehand. It was a good get. Very good volley, volley by the Orlando Storm there. This game is getting pretty close. 30 all here. The winner of this point will look at a game point. Wow, what a shot by Brady, 40-30. Game point for Washington. Four games to one, the lead for Washington. And once again, it's a one game overall advantage for Orlando, 15-14. Washington a chance to tie it up in the overall score heading into the final set if Brady and Peschke can take this one. Orlando has been up all night long on the scoreboard. This is the closest it's been in the overall score. A little unforced error there by the Madison Keys forehand. Jenny Brady forehand was a little bit too big for her there. Madison Keys been a little streaky so far, having a couple unforced errors, some good shots. Let's see if she can hold this game, keep the storm in this fourth set. Fifteen all. Fifteen all here. Let's hear from Madison Certainly don't want to allow Washington to break serve and earn this set. Oh, 
30 all. 30 all. That ace from Keys is that powerful serve of hers. Yeah, that's one of Maddie's favorite shots there, the serve. That's something that's been really good for her on the pro tour. One of her, one of the better shots on tour. It will win a lot of free points off of it, like we just saw there. Good job by Sherrock there. Pesky really had the advantage in that in that in that point there, but not able to win it. Every game counts, as we've said. And what that game win means for Orlando is that they can do no worse going into the fifth set than leading by one. Math. Great. Love 15. Mac, what were you going to say there? Great math there, Josh. Thank you. Never has it been more evident that you're still in college. Not really, though. <laughs> Four games to two. Washington leads Orlando here in this fourth set. Fifteen all. Fifteen all. Women's singles to follow this. Jenny Brady, Madison Keys, in what will likely be the deciding set. Unreal point there by Jenny Brady. Able to handle the return from Maddie Keys. Couple of volleys and closes out the point with a volley winner through the middle of the court. Washington up 30-15 in this game, looking to close this out. They're looking pretty good, high energy. Thirty all. And the castles call a Geico timeout. I think we got to get you on the court in one of these next two matches to hold one of these Geico timeout signs. My limp is looking a little bit better now. No crutches. I think I could do it. Just won't be running. No one's asking you to run, and it's a big deal that you're 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 now crutchless. It's good to we saw each other today after the the, the off days. It was nice to see no crutches from you. Things slowly but surely starting to return back to normal. Brady with the point to make it 
Patrick get a serve. Brady. Look at this rally. And the game and the fourth set goes to Washington, and we will step aside. Fifth set, women's singles, Jenny Brady, Madison Keys. A two-game deficit, a two-game lead for Orlando in the overall score. Who will take this one, Washington or Orlando? Final set coming up next. I want it. I can't believe it. The car brought his karaoke machine. No, I can't believe how easy it was to save hundreds of dollars on my car insurance with Geico. Go, Kevin! Go, Kevin! No! no. Believe it, Geico could save you 15% or more on car insurance. I want it! I can't believe it. The car brought his karaoke machine. No, I can't believe how easy it was to save hundreds of dollars on my car insurance with Geico. Go, Kevin! Go, Kevin! No! no. Believe it, Geico could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Watch me go. Because I won't come back the same. Sometimes I'll come back with scratches and scrapes. Or with stories of great shots and close shaves. Of wins for the history books. And of losses I'll never forget. But watch me smile. Say good game. And put my racket away for now, but not for good. Because I'll have seen what I can do. And I know greatness, greatness. greatness is waiting. Sign up with Net Generation, official youth tennis of the USTA. How do you rock the world of tennis? Burn the rule book. Change the game. Make it faster. No, way faster. Pair up the sexes. Call in the coaches. Fist bump this badass. Playing teams. And don't forget the pros. Lots of pros. This is the next evolution of tennis. This is WTT, July 2019. Welcome back, Lake Nona, USTA National Campus, Orlando Storm, Washington Castles. Josh Appel, Mackie McDonald with you. 16-15 into the final set, Jenny Brady, Madison Keys to decide it all. Nice deep forehand there by Madison Keys gets the first point. Josh, we're looking at the Lake Nona showdown here between Jenny Brady and Madison Keys, two residents. Lived here since this place pretty much opened a couple years ago. So one could say that these two are very familiar with each other. We've seen Jenny Brady in a women's singles competition in Lake Nona this season before. Remember, she went up four games to one against Whitney Osigwe, and Osigwe came back to win that set in a tie. How much different of a challenge is going up against Madison Keys in singles as opposed to doubles? I'd say very different. Um, oh. 
Yeah, with another play on the court, I mean, you can see in singles already, Madison Keys rips the ball. A lot bigger than a lot of the women on tour. I mean, really powerful forehand. That last point hitting an angle winner. She's able to open up the court really well. So, you know, Jenny Brady here is going to have to hit some good shots, get her out of position. If Madison Keys is set up, she's going to put the ball away. I think Jenny needs to focus on high first serve percentage, looking to hit her forehand, more so to the Keys backhand take time away when she can. Third enough. 30 love Jenny Brady here. Good start to this game. Fifteen. Jenny Brady ties it up, one game apiece. I think we're definitely going to see Madison Keys here in this set be more of a dictator. She's going to have her errors like that one, but she's also going to have some really good shots. So I think this set is a little bit more so on her racket. We'll see which Madison Keys shows up here. Jenny Brady will stay solid, but we are on serve in this last and final set of the night to decide the match. Seventeen, sixteen, Orlando with the overall lead. Nice. Jenny Brady just saved us with a tennis ball to the broadcast booth. She's just looking out for a fellow Bruin. I would not want to be in the way of a Madison Keys serve, that's for sure. So thanks, Jenny, for at least getting in the way of that one. Go! 30-15. Keys had Brady off balance there. Murphy Jensen, I think it's safe to say he's a world team tennis legend. Trying to give some encouragement to Jenny Brady. I mean, if you lead a team to six world team tennis titles, including five straight, two undefeated seasons, and you play a decade in the league, I think that you qualify you as a WTT legend. Thirty all, and and Mackie, I can't believe it's taken us this long to get to this, but you and Murphy Jensen actually crossed paths way back when you two were talking about it before the match even started. Yeah, I remember being a little little kid watching him play some world team tennis at Stanford. Actually, I was about maybe six, seven years old. You know, like some of these youngsters here today watching.
Nice forehand by Maddie there, going up 40-30. But for the crowd, you know, this World Team Tennis format, the dynamic, and just seeing tennis as a team sport a little bit is really exciting for, for uh, people of all ages, but for the youngsters too. I mean, for myself, you know, seeing some of these pros compete and having a good time out there led me to be professional as I am today as well. Professional broadcaster now, too. Game storm. And the game goes to Madison Keys. She takes it two games to one lead, an 18 16 overall lead. Orlando dominant in the first set, men's doubles 5 to 1. They drop the second set, men's singles 5 to 4 in a tie break. Mixed doubles tie break in the third set went the way of Orlando. Then a 5-2 women's doubles win for Washington. In the fourth set, now here we are in the fifth. Tough for Jenny Brady. Too much mustard on that from Keys. 15 all. Gives the Castles a 30-15 lead. Jenny Brady trying to hold on here, stay on serve. Forty fifteen, favor of Jenny Brady. Long from Brady. 40 30. Game point, Jenny Brady. Deciding point upcoming. Chance to break serve for Madison Keys and take a three games to one lead. Madison Keys sneaks that one in, breaks serve, and takes a three games to one lead in the fifth set. 19-16 overall Orlando. The finish of this one coming up next. Give me a racket and watch me go. 
because I won't come back the same. Sometimes I'll come back with scratches and scrapes. Or with stories of great shots and close shaves. Of wins for the history books. And of losses I'll never forget. But watch me smile. Say good game. And put my racket away for now, but not for good. Because I'll have seen what I can do. And I know greatness, greatness. greatness is waiting. Sign up with Net Generation, official youth tennis of the USTA. How do you rock the world of tennis? Burn the rule book. Change the game. Make it faster. No, way faster. Pair up the sexes. Call in the coaches. Fist bump this badass. Playing teams. And don't forget the pros. Lots of pros. This is the storm. This is WTT, July 2019. Welcome back to Lake Nona. Madison Keys, Jennifer Brady, fifth set women's singles. Nineteen sixteen, Orlando leads overall. Madison Keys with a three to one advantage in this set. Fifteen all. Oh, Brady just couldn't find the line. A little bit too long. Go. Firing forehand there for Matty Keys. Like I said earlier, you were going to see some of those big forehands from her. We saw an error in that first one of this game. We saw a forehand winner in the corner of the court on the game point in the last one. Swing volley there miss there. But she's definitely in dominant form. She's either going to make some of these shots to win the points or miss them. She wants to be in control. She wants to dictate the match. There you see Maddie correcting that error on the last point by making that forehand swing volley this time. Now two game points here for the Orlando Storm to go four games to one in the final set. Game points. Deciding point. A little bit of Seven Nation Army in here as well. The Orlando fans have brought it all night. A chance for Keys to go up four games to one. And the game goes to Washington. Keys still up three games to two, but Brady breaks serve. 
That was pretty impressive by Jenny there, staying with it, staying in that game, getting an error. Another one actually for Madison Keys. Now serving, back on serve to go. So hopefully three games all. Good point there by Maddie staying in it. Jenny with the unforced error. Love 15. Fifteen all. Nice volley and angle there by Jenny Brady. Getting Madison Keys off the court, opening it up for the volley winner. Short fans, let's turn up the volume and put the pressure on Jenny Brady. He's out of nowhere. Somehow gets a forehand passing shot past Jenny Brady after an overhead. That's got to be the shot of the day right there. And it got everybody in this facility on their feet, including every member of the Orlando Storm. Jenny Brady serving here to even up the score if she gets this game. Madison Key's not able to back up her spectacular passing shot that we saw on the po on the previous point. Game. Jenny Brady game takes the game for the Washington Castles. Now three games all. Looks like Jenny's getting in, in the form here. Really buckling down. Madison Key showing a little bit of, of tiredness as she goes to her towel on the back fence. What do you think, Josh? Well, you, you look at how this set specifically has gone down. It was three games to one in favor of Madison Keys. They went to the uh, deciding point with Keys serving. Brady breaks serve. Makes it three games to two. Now here we are tied at three with a 19-18 advantage for Orlando in the overall score. Things have changed very quickly for Orlando. It looked like Keys might be able to just cruise in this set, but Brady, to her credit, has played strong. Two easy missed returns there by Jenny Brady. That was not part of her plan. 
She looks really comfortable in the last few games, making a ton of balls. Excellent point from Jenny Brady. We've seen some impressive points from a number of players tonight. This has been well played on both sides, and you know you wouldn't know it. That these are the two teams at the bottom of the standings, but they played a high-quality match here tonight all throughout. Thirty all. Madison Key's not the happiest with herself. Madison Keys. Ooh, almost got the break on the let there, but she heard Hawkeye call it out. And the game goes to Madison Keys. Four games to three. Now a chance to win the match and the set for Madison Keys. A little Geico timeout here. Scott Lipsky trying to tell Maddie Keys to stay down on her forehand here, try to reduce some of those errors. Storms looking really strong here, up two games. Evan King getting involved in the loads of fun happening inside here, but now it's time for the eighth game of this fifth set. Fifteen love. Orlando trying to snap a six match losing streak and earn its third win of the season. Off day tomorrow for the storm. Washington back home. Springfield in town on Friday. Love 30. How much do you think is left in the tank for both these players? I think both these women got a lot left. I mean, both their teams need them here. Jenny Brady just trying to hold on here. Force it to a tiebreaker. Maybe a little bit of nerves there for Jenny. A couple of errors. Don't want to see that right now. Madison Keys handling this pressure really well. The whole crowd getting behind her. Set point and match point. Oh, what a shot by Brady. Just got it over to stay alive. 15-40, still a match and set point for Madison Keys. 
Brady, though, hanging on by a thread. And that's how this one ends. Game, set, match, your final. 21 to 18, Madison Keys wins it for Orlando. The losing streak is over. The Storm improve to three and six. The Castles fall to one and six. Mackie and I will be back in just a moment to wrap things up for you here from Lake Nona. Orlando back in the win column, 21 to 18. Back after this. Geico has over 75 years of savings and service. Whoa. Travis and AT made it. It's amazing. Geico oh, is, is that Travis's app? It's pretty cool, service. isn't it? There's two of them. They're multiplying. Geico has oh, over no. 75 oh, guys, it's me. Savings See? Service. No, I'm real. I'm real. Who thinks he's real? <laughs> Geico. Over 75 years of savings and service. What are you doing? I'm gonna be a pro tennis player. I thought you were going to get things done today. I did. I had a consultation with my doctor this morning, and I set up a meeting with my lawyer about my Wimbledon application. How could you afford a lawyer? It's included on my phone. My Rocket IO Pro 3D comes with legal services, 24-7 doctor, glasses free 3D, and it's less than $300. You saving some money. Now you can start paying rent. Wait, what? Get the Rocket IO Pro 3D for less than $300. Rocket, smarter phone. Welcome back to Lake Nona inside the Adidas Performance Center of the USTA National Campus. Josh Appel, Mackie McDonald with you. Orlando is back in the win column, a 21-18 victory over Washington Castles. And Mackie, a fantastic match for both sides, but specifically for Orlando, very impressive to get off the schneid. Yeah, very impressive match tonight. I thought both teams were pretty tough. Orlando did have a little bit of the edge throughout the whole whole match there and was able to squeak it out. Um, a lot of good energy, I thought. You know, Evan King brought a lot in that first doubles and in his singles. Um, you know, this really came down to the wire. Well, that'll do it for us here from Lake Nona. Again, your final score, 21-18 Orlando. Orlando back at it after an off day tomorrow on Friday. They host Springfield. We'll be on the air with you at 7 o'clock. World Team Tennis has been brought to you by GEICO, saving people money for over 75 years. By Rocket, game-changing phones with glasses free 3D. And by Forevermark, a diamond is forever. For Mackie McDonald and our entire crew here at World Team Tennis, this is Josh Appel saying so long, and we will talk to you on Friday. <laughs>